I think it was really good. He did a good job. I think it was a really positive session. Well, it all starts off fairly similar, really. We're always trying to optimise the car for each event we go to, and then we just have to trade what works with the race drivers as to what will work with an FP1 driver. Radio check, one, two. Okay, bad and clear. Okay, right, so currently track temp mid 30s, but wind strength is very light. Okay. In the case of Monza, we'd be looking at the sort of in-session change setups, ride or drag and that sort of thing, and leave the more general setup decisions to be left to the, the race drivers. Barcelona was the first one we'd met in the simulator a couple of events prior, and now we get an, more of an idea of his driving style, so we can make comparisons across cars, and also just working with him, he's a nice guy, easy guy to work with. Okay, right, so we'll fire you up, same as what we did in Barcelona, okay, straight out. And uh, Giovinazzi, eight seconds back. Post session, probably with George, we, we tend to look a little bit more at the, the onboard videos to, to pick out certain bits and pieces, probably compare P1 to what he was doing last year, and then we'll, we'll have five minutes just to catch up briefly over the overlays, just in case there's any changes to setups that may, may affect what he's going to do later on in the, in the session of P2. We can check the DRS out of turn seven, still clear behind, we'll box this lap. Okay, so we'll do a live stop and engine off. So first gear before you stop, easy into the box, hold the brakes on and switch off. Thank you very much, good job again. Thank you James, thank you everybody, I jump out, thanks. He's a bit more comfortable, he knows what to do, he's done it before and now we can really work on the performance.